What's up, Maniacs? I'm here to talk about an interesting quirk of the GP3, and presumably all F56 models that have this center armrest with the wireless phone charger uh, built into it. And so what we have here is my phone, and we go to put it in there, and it's too tall. It doesn't fit. And I have the uh, Google Pixel 4 XL, and that's by no means the tallest phone out there. And so if you had a taller or wider phone, it's definitely not going to fit in here. Um, it, it, it does start to charge if you hold it uh, in place. It, the phone does get close enough to, to charge, but uh, it's not going to stay there because the little spring-loaded clip is going to just push it back out of the way. And so yeah, my current Pixel 4 XL doesn't fit. The phone I had before that doesn't fit. The phone I had before that also doesn't fit. The phone I had before that, still too tall. The phone I had before that, too wide to even fit in here. Finally, the phone I had, I think back in 2014 or something, that one fits. And that's only because that was the year I didn't get the larger size phones. Um, it came in two sizes and I opted for the smaller size. So yeah. This phone charger, really cool idea, um, but it doesn't really fit what I would say modern size phones are, are typically um, at. And so to give you a quick measurement, we can see that your phone, in order to fit into here, would need to fall, would need to be shorter than 14 and a half centimeters and no wider than eight centimeters. So most modern smartphones that are the larger sizes aren't going to fit into these mini center armrests, at least for the F56 models. Maybe the uh, Countrymen's and Clubmen's have a bigger one, bigger armrest, but I don't know if that's true. Um, so yeah, I've also heard of uh, overheating problems because you're putting your phone in here, charging it wirelessly, so the battery's heating it up and you close the lid. And there are a little bit of uh, air vents in here for some circulation, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough It'll probably overheat if, if you are able to use this wireless charger. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not complaining about it. I think it's a really cool thing. I didn't have it in my previous F56, um, and I have it now, which is really cool. And my friends that have smaller phones, they can throw their phone in here to charge. Uh, but for me, I'll stick to the USB-C, which is really great that Mini included a USB-A and a USB-C port um, down here in the little center console so you can charge your phone um, with a modern USB standard, which is really cool. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you're considering getting an F56 uh, model Mini Cooper and you really want a wireless phone charger, just make sure your phone is uh, going to fit in the center armrest before you uh, commit to that. And uh, if you want to see more about this car, uh, check out this video where I give a comparison between this and my previous JCW. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions you have below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. That helps out a tremendous amount. And uh, when you see another Mini, don't forget to wave. I'll catch you in the next one.